we're going to pick up where we left off and we're going to teach it exactly the same way that we were teaching it before. We are still going to do our friend, the snowflake. So as a reminder about snowflaking right here, we always put the A times C on top. We put the B on the bottom and you always put your AC, excuse me, AX in the wings or whatever variable we're dealing with uh, in the wings. And then down below, we need to find the factors of AC that sum to B. That sum to B. So that's what we put inside the wings there. Now the last thing we're going to do is we have to simplify the wings as if they were fractions. So the best way, of course, to do this is to see it in action. So let's take a gander at part A. Dun, 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 dun. So A times C boop, 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 is 15. So start with my snowflake right here, and I'm going to put 15 on top. And B goes on the bottom. Note, note that I'm paying attention to the positive there. So 8 positive 8 goes on the bottom. And notice it's just the 3x that goes in the wings. Just the 3x. Don't put that square. Just the 3x. The same question is now asked. What are the factors of 15 that sum to 8? 8. If some of us struggle, you're welcome to just write the 15 over on the side here and do a T-chart, 1 and 15. Class, what's another pair? 3 and 5. 3 and 5. And notice 3 and 5 go there. So put a 3 here and a 5 here. It never matters where the 3 goes and where the 5 goes. No matter which side, it'll end up working out the same way. Okay, now here's the step that we didn't do at all before. What we need to do is take a look at this guy right here as if it's a fraction, 3x over 3. How can we reduce that one as if it's a fraction? Well, the 3s can drop each other out. They cancel out. So we end up with this, x over 1. And this one does not reduce, so we're left with just that. So those are my factors. I'm done. We have x plus 1 and 3x plus 5. I'm going to double check that I'm correct here uh, because I can, so I'll box or circle that. Some of you might need to see it in, um, in the grid method. You don't have to do this, but I'm just testing it real quick to see that things work out well. So x, 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 1 is 5. Notice these two combine to be 8x. And so let's double check that. These two combine to be 8x, which is that. I have a 3x squared, which is that, and a 5, which is that. So there we go. This right here are my factors. Done. So that's what we get here. So let's now check at uh, part B here. I've got thrown some negatives in there, so we have to pay attention to double negatives, uh, one negative, etc. So snowflake. So I got a two times a negative twenty-one. So negative forty-two goes on the top. Whoa, uh oh, what number goes on the bottom? A positive one, not the x. A positive one like so. Now I take what I saw over here, just the 2x goes in the wings. Just the 2x goes in the wings. And now I ask myself, what multiplies to a negative 42 but adds to a positive 1? I, I can't see that quickly in my head, so maybe I'm going to write it out over here as a t-chart just to help myself out. Uh, so I know 42 and 1. Notice it ends up summing to a positive, so one of these has to be a negative. So the smaller needs to be a negative. All right, so let's try another one. Uh, what's it, 14 and 3? And then 7 and 6. Oh, there we go. 7 minus 6 is 1. So just drop those over, 7 and 6. If you put 6 and 7, except forgot that negative, it doesn't matter because one side or both sides will reduce. This one here reduces by a 2, so I get negative 3 on the bottom. And we're left with our final factors. 2x plus 7 and x minus 3. Dun, 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 dun. Please attack this problem down here and then come back here for the answer. Oh, 
And there we go, we got it. The next thing we're gonna look at is what happens when we come across something that needs to be factored first. So this is something that you should always be aware of. In fact, that should be your first step always, is to see if there is a GCF that can be factored out first. So GCF is kind of your primary step. So let's look here. On part A, in example D, we do have a, a GCF that we can factor out. So I'm gonna use the ladder method here just to show you, but again, you don't have to have done the ladder method. You can do, uh, if you see the answer, you can just jump straight to it here. But I do see that I can pull out a three, so I get x cubed plus five x squared um, minus a six x. Oh, and then I notice I can pull out an x too as well. And had I done that at the first, it would have been a little bit faster. So we get x squared plus 5x minus 6. So this step now gives me the 3x is outside here. 3x is outside, and this guy is inside. Now, I'm not done. I did a GCF, and now I'm seeing, is there anything else that can be factored? Well, this guy is already factored. 3 times x is already a factor. 3 times x times this trinomial. So I'm going to see if the trinomial itself can be factored. So I'm just going to take a moment and snowflake the trinomial inside. So I'm only looking at the initial uh, part there. So notice my 1 here times the negative 6 there. So negative 6 goes on the top. And positive 5 goes down below. Now, I'm back to the original problems that we were doing before, where I just have 1x in the wings. Finishing this up, uh, negative 6 and 5. So that, notice it multiplies to a negative. So that means one of them needs to be a negative and the other one needs to be positive. But they add to a 5. I'm tempted to say 3 and 2, but notice what happens there. Negative 3 plus 2 is a negative 1. So that doesn't work. So what do you got? Six and a negative one. Good, it's got to be six and a negative one. At first six I wrote it like this. Negative one, that's negative six. Good, so now I'm changing it like this. Sometimes it takes a little bit of guessing and checking to just double check. So six minus one is five, and six times a negative one is negative six. So notice I'm, I'm done with that inner part. So bring down the three x here, and now the x minus one and the x plus 2, excuse me, x plus 6, finish it off. So I factored completely. And it looks a little bit longer than the other one, but that's all right. So we check the GCF first, and then we continue on and do snowflake there. Please look at number 8 down below, and then check the answer up here in a minute. And there we go. So I do want to point out to you, notice that this guy is sort of like scratch work. So that's why I kind of wrote it over on the side. And that uh, this part, first I GCF, and then it factors to there. If you are starting to uh, come up with the factors without the work, I'm okay with that. If you can see it from here to here, then go with it. Use your brain in that capacity. <clears throat> if you're making a lot of mistakes, then you should probably come back to this. All right, let's check part B here. And this is going to look a little bit different because it's a trinomial. Well, many of you notice here that I can pull out a 5 and an x. So I'll do that. Then I get x squared minus a 9. Wait a tick. x squared minus, x squared minus 9. That's so unusual. That's really unusual, in fact. If I were to snowflake that, what goes where? So let's watch out and see this. I'm going to rewrite this over here just so you can see it in pure, in all its purest form, is that we have this plus we have a 0x, which is not written because we don't have to, and then we have a minus 9. So in this case, we have a 0 I just want to show you that it's not written, but it's there. So make sure to put that zero on the bottom. And negative nine goes on top, 
And X goes in the wings. X goes in the wings. Now we ask ourselves what two numbers multiply to a negative nine but add to a zero. And by the way, opposites add to zero. So three and negative three. So there we go. Let's finish this up by bringing down the 5x. And then we have our conjugates, x plus 3 and x minus 3. And some of you could have said, hey, Swenson, I noticed that was a difference of two squares. I could have just written it like that. And you're right, you could have, because that's a shortcut we learned going from here to there. All we're doing is going backwards. All right. <laughs> GCF this guy here first. And then Snowflake, what's left over? Go.